And a very good uh, afternoon, uh, everyone. Jeremy here from strategy.com.sg. Just a market recap for the Straits Times Index for the trading week ending 26th of February 2021 and an outlook for the month of March. And the Straits Times Index uh, closed uh, uh, a little bit stronger on a short term basis. And uh, let's have a look at the monthly charts for the STI longer term. So in a long term basis, uh, this particular short signal uh, on the 1st of October 2018 still pretty much valid. However, you can see a little bit of a relative strength as the STI recovers from its pandemic lows. Very nice recovery to our ultimate target at 3108, just at the uh, super trend line and below the cloud line at the SSSB on the long term charts. So a recovery, it's still on the way for the Straits Times Index moving into March 2021. We need to see a breakout above 3108 and price action to hold above the SSSA line this time. And perhaps uh, you might get a little bit of recovery to uh, 3270 and 3664, which is the peak just before the short signal was issued on the 1st of October 2018. Looking at the medium term weekly charts, this is the uh, source of strength for the Straits Times Index and uh, the long signal that was issued uh, in uh, November last year is still valid, targeting 3108 and you can see the price action pretty much recovered above and supporting and holding above the super trend line pivot at 2780 as well as the SSSA line on the cloud. So this is a positive development and a positive close in the medium term for the straight times index for it to perhaps test 3108 and further. So looking at the uh, daily chart, the uh, short term charts of the straight times index, I think most of you are familiar with this. This is the entire story of the straight times index that has uh, transpired since the pandemic drop. So the pandemic drop book level is at about 3108, which is our current target for its upside all the way down to 2206 right about here. All right. So you have basically one long signal and two long signals for the entire year of 2020. The first long signal achieved an intraday high of uh, 2843 and then broke down and ended up at a low at about 2430. And then you had a long signal at uh, 2506 that uh, gave you this very nice move and bounce on route to 3108 took a little bit of a rest here at about a 2,987 level on the uh, December 2028. And right now, uh, if you zoom in in the recent action for 2021, we have a final long signal that is targeting 3108, which is the breakout level just before the STI dropped during the pandemic. So um, a very nice recovery so far, two long signals, two corrective actions in the uh, year 2020 till today. And uh, we really need to see the STI uh, pushing up and clearing the hurdle uh, at uh, 3108 and start to trade above this area here to have any positive traction in terms of the long term prospects of the Straits Times Index. So zooming in on the longer term charts, you see the long signal that's issued on the 25th, just a couple of days before the market closed for February at the 2964, targeting 3108. And a very important pivot to watch is 2867. A break of this uh, would mean that the STI would break below the SSSB line on the cloud, which it hasn't done so for almost seven to eight months right now, breaking below this particular super trend line at 2867 may have a little bit of correction for the STI. Holding above this level, perhaps bouncing back up after maybe a test at about 2867, might get you to 3108, our target, and moving forward and uh, making a little bit of traction in the long term basis.
Moving on to the four hourly charts where most of us take our swing trades uh, in a little bit of a smaller time frame, you can see the precipitous climb of the Straits Times Index since uh, 3rd of uh, November 2020, just before the elections coming up. Very nice uh, uptrend and run, which you have taken profits around this area at 2841. This particular short signal just essentially uh, put the uh, STI in the short range and thereafter stayed above the SSS A line. Another nice long signal at 2872 at the beginning of the year, 7th of Jan, and uh, you had an intraday high moving up with about two, 3,000 points on the STI. And then after this short term correction and thereafter a, a recent long signal at 2932 targeting two, uh, 3,108 points. So take note on a shorter term time basis, this pivot at 2908 for those of you who are trading for swing trades, holding your positions for a couple of days or, or a week or so. Uh, make sure that the uh, this particular pivot at 2909 is respected for us to make progress towards 3108 and higher. However, uh, watch for the break at 2909 where price action breaks down and then you have your downside targets. Uh, which uh, would lie around the 2,600 level uh, based on the weekly pivot supports. So to sum up the discussion for the uh, Space Times Index, uh, very nice action on the monthly recovery on a longer term basis uh, where you have one, two, three, four up months uh, since uh, November last year and the weekly trend is still holding on an uptrend. All right trying to reach targets at 3108 and on a short term basis this is an important pivot at 2867 for those of you who uh, follow my blog on quantstrategic.com.sg i'll put in the levels for you to respect and uh, to see how the sti plays out in the month of march thanks for watching everyone and uh, remember to click on subscribe and please like the videos if you find uh, that it helps you along with your assessment of the singapore stock market